Dental fluorosis is a disease which models the teeth, leaving them splotchy and brownish tinged. Skeletal fluorosis is a painful, crippling disease that completely deforms children's lower limbs, especially the legs, ankles, and feet. This dietary supplement will help prevent both types of fluorosis by helping build strong bones and teeth. The supplement may also be effective if given to cattle under 10 years old. Give children one pill a day with one of their daily meals and mix in one to two pills with, with cattle's daily rations. Would someone like to try a bottle? I'll take some of those pills for my children and cattle. My child and cattle doesn't need those pills. We'll get fine without that junk. Come on, Nidid, we're going home. But I want those pills. Well, too bad. Here you go, ma'am, and I can send you one bottle per month for 20 rupees a year. Would that work for you? That sounds great. Here's the money you asked for. Don't forget your use of originality and creativity for another 20 points. Items such as costumes, props, songs, dance, visual aids such as posters can also go toward this 20 point total. Here's another clip to show good use of creativity and originality. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Channel 12 Morning News. Our top story this morning, malaria, one of the many deadly diseases found in Africa. We now come to you live from Cape Town, South Africa with our ACE reporter, Brittany Kowalski. Brittany? Thank you, Johnny. Now we're going to show you some of the do's and don'ts of helping people in Madagascar. The first one is what you should not do. I have my shovel and my bucket. Ready to go to Madagascar? Yeah! One day later, Arahabama Blastra. Good, thank you. We are here to dig a well. Okay. Three months later. The well, the well, the well. What's wrong? The well, it broke. Well, how do we fix it? Yeah, they build it so you don't know how to fix it. That's as useful as a dead mule, you're telling me. That was an example of what you should not do. Also, 40 points are comprised of presentation style. For 20 points, you should make sure that each group member participates. For another 10 points, you should make sure your presentation is well rehearsed. Write your script, practice it, and memorize those lines. Here's a clip showing good presentation style. Next is what you should do. I have my shovel, my bucket, and the instruction manual. Ready to go to Madagascar? Yeah! <laughs> Hi, we are here to teach you how to build a well. Okay, that sounds great. Three years later. The well, the well, the well. What's wrong? The well it broke. No problem. I know how to build and fix the well. You do? Yeah, great. Hey, Ian. Yeah, Clayton? Why can't we just go in and build the well? Well, you see, if we go in and build the well for them and don't show them how to make it, they won't know how to fix it when it breaks. But if we show them how and do it with them, they'll know how to fix it when it breaks. Plus, since they know how to make them, they can build more in their village. Oh. We are the sixth grade class from Colorado Academy. We hope you have learned a lot. Now we have to say goodbye, so remember, save your water! So overall, your team can score a maximum of 150 points in the competition. So this sure is a lot of information for students and teachers alike. Teachers, be sure to download our Teacher's Handbook for more tips on how to put on a successful Global Water Challenge. And students, be sure to download our Student's Guide with plenty of tips, tricks, research leads, and other resources for you and your team to use. So let's do a quick recap of what it will take to put on a global water challenge. Number one, students, once you have formed your group, the first thing you will have to do is decide which problem you want to solve. You will then need to find out as much as you can about what causes the problem and what other people have already done to solve it. Number two, your student group will then have to come up with a solution to solve this problem. Your group will have to try out your solution to see if it really works. You can do this by furthering your reference, asking members of the community, or even asking your teacher. You can change, add, or eliminate parts of your solution if those are not working until you have a good plan that your group knows will work. Number three, if you did pick a problem where it is actually not possible to test the proposed solution, like we said before, use experts and mentors to learn if the plan really can be done. Keep trying until you have an action plan that will work. Number four, Next, you need to sell your idea to other people. 
All good advertisements get people excited to do something. Your skit, song, or newscast is your ad. It is your chance to convince others to join your cause and solve the problem. It is your chance to make a real difference in the world and change something. Number five. Write a script that explains the problem very clearly using lots of science details. Then explain how your group plans to solve the problem. Use your creativity to get your audience interested in your action plan. Tell them why it's a problem, how to solve the problem, and how important it is that the problem be solved. Use examples, costumes, and props to make your ideas interesting and clear. It should be about 12 minutes long. Remember, you are trying to educate your audience and then get them excited enough to go out and do something. Thank you very much for watching today's Global Water Challenge tutorial. You've been a terrific audience. Please look for our additional companion lesson on water called How Much Water Do You Use? This is a lesson where you'll be able to begin to think about water issues as you prepare to participate in our special Global Water Challenge event, where you have the opportunity to perform a skit or presentation on the water challenges we face across the globe. Remember, in the Global Water Challenge, you can show off your acting talents and take on various roles in the global health community. You can take on the role of a family struggling with water access and sanitation, or take on the role of a family in a large modern city who might need to learn a lesson about saving water and energy. Or you may act out your local situation and teach students all over the world how water issues affect your daily life. With our Global Health Connections website, you can even record your presentations and upload them to our site, so you'll be able to share your experiences and share your expertise and what you found in your water issue research. Remember, we're all drinking water and breathing air from the same molecules that have been on this planet since life began. We truly have a lot in common, and yet a lot to learn and share with each other. Thank you very much for being a part of Global Health Explorers International. Once again, I'm Zach with Global Health Connections, and we'll see you next time.